And so some, as some of the students have already mentioned, um, you do move through the program as a cohort. So you'll be spending time, if you're taking the live lactation education courses, you'll be spending time with your cohort from the beginning and then move together over into the practicum side after you know application and acceptance to the practicum. You probably know most, if not everybody in your cohort already. Um, what we really try to um, uh, you know, kind of set the stage for you guys, as, as somebody had mentioned before, is that, that we're able to accomplish a couple of things. One is to make sure that we're providing you with as much of a variety as we can um, for clinical experience, as, as many of you recognize, I'm sure, um, you know, lactation support uh, takes place in different places and in different ways. Um, sometimes it's in a hospital, sometimes it's in a private practice, sometimes it's in conjunction with, say, like a WIC office, you know, something like that. So we try to provide you with this variety. Um, we try really hard to also match you with um, preceptors that, you know, just from our getting to know you as a student and what we already know of, of our preceptors, trying to match you with someone that, um, we, you know, we, uh, you know, assess as being a good match for you and being able to kind of support your learning. Um, and then we come together once a week to actually talk about these things, as some had mentioned already, you know, kind of talk about what are we experiencing in, in the clinical setting? What are, what, what's happening there? Um, what kind of challenges are we facing? What kind of um, great accomplishments did we make this week? You know, we'd like to talk about those things. Um, being able to come together as a group and, and talk about your experience, you know, allows for all, all kinds of discussion whether it's just about specific cases, specific su subjects that come up in lactation, or just trying to manage um, this kind of program, trying to do that, that life balance, you know, and we, we try to all support each other with that. Um, yeah, so so that's that's one of the reasons why I continue to uh, keep this, you know, stay in this position, because I think for me and kind of what Betty is talking about, too, every year, my students don't realize it, but they're actually sometimes teaching me more than I might be able to teach them. So um, thank you to all of those students who have taught me before, and I look forward to maybe learning from some of the new faces that we have here today.